multiplying three fractions is not much different than multiplying two fractions, except we'll be multiplying three numerators and three denominators together. But again, before we multiply, we do want to simplify. So we're going to write all of the numerators and denominators in prime factored form so we can identify all the common factors between any numerator and any denominator. So for the first fraction, three and five are both prime numbers. For the second fraction, the prime factorization of four would be two times two, and the prime factorization of nine would be three times three. For the third fraction, the prime factorization of 15 would be three times five, and for 24, we'd have four times six, but four is equal to two times two, and six is equal to two times three. So we have three factors of two and one factor of three. And now we're looking for common factors between any numerator and any denominator. So let's start with two. Notice how there's a common factor of two here and here, as well as here and here. And there's a common factor of three here and here, as well as here and here. And there's even a common factor of five here and here. So notice how it doesn't matter which numerator and denominator we use as long as one factor is on the top and one factor is on the bottom. And now we can determine this product knowing that it's in simplest form. Notice all the factors in the numerator have simplified out, which means the remaining factor is one. And the only factor in the denominator is three, so all of this simplifies to one third. Let's take a look at a second example. The first thing we should notice on this example is that we have a negative times a positive times a positive, so this product will be negative. But we'll approach this the same way. We're going to write each of the numerators and denominators in prime factored form. So we have negative, two and three are prime. The prime factorization of six would be two times three. The prime factorization of 25 would be five times five. And for the third fraction, we'd have two times five and 11 is prime. And now we simplify. So here we have a common factor of five that would simplify to one. And then we also have a common factor of three that would simplify to one. And that's all that simplifies here. And we know this product will be negative. The numerator will be two times two times two, which is eight. And the denominator would be five times 11, which is 55. So here's our product. So as you can see, it's really not that much different than multiplying two fractions. I hope this was helpful.